This web page shows a comparison between the MicroSense dual camera system and satellite data taken from Sentinel 2A. The data sets were captured within three days of each other in Western Washington. One of the key differences we can immediately see is the difference in resolution between the RGB of the satellite data on the left hand side and the RGB of the dual camera data on the right hand side. We can use the slider to see how the data set looks across each of the systems, like so. The Sentinel-2 data covers the same spectral range, but its spatial resolution varies between 10 to 60 meters, depending on the band wavelength in use. We can easily see these differences by visualizing the different indices and composites. Our RGB and false color composite, shown here, have a spatial resolution of 10 meters within our Sentinel-2 data. If we switch to our NDVI, it also has 10 meters resolution. When we go to NDRE, we get to a more coarser resolution at 20 meters, and it's clear that features on anywhere near is easily identified as before. Lastly, if we go to the 961 composite, we get a spatial resolution of 60 meters in the Sentinel-2 data due to the low resolution coastal aerosol band within Sentinel-2 data. The dual camera system is ideal for those involved in advanced research and analysis within terrestrial and aquatic applications. It is a particular benefit to those wishing to compare satellite data as it covers the same spectral range but at a much higher spatial resolution than typical satellite providers such as Landsat 8 and Sentinel-2A. Having 10 multispectral bands at high resolution allows for the generation of a number of indices and composites ideal for advanced classification tasks and machine learning applications. Looking at the trees or the vegetation up in this top corner, we can easily see individual features and their spectral response within the dual cam data. Within the Sentinel data, whilst we get an approximate aggregation, it's not good enough to really identify individual species. If researchers want to understand the health of a crop or a tree, or potentially to differentiate between two similar species, having 10 bands of data at the highest spatial resolution allows a much better chance of being able to do this effectively. This riparian location offers a good insight into a number of potential applications of the dual camera system. Species differentiation, within forestry, advanced research into crops and agriculture, as well as the monitoring of aquatic vegetation are to name but a few. If you'd like a closer look at the data sets yourself, then just go to the URL above. Feel free to explore the data. <laughs>